your YouTube, this is Finger11, yeah. It's just, um, I think I'm gonna tell us the refugium or something like that. But I got, still got my two clownfish, cleaner shrimp, blue dam, so, and all that junk, clean up crew. Um, I raked leaves for this guy. I raked like two or three acres of leaves this fall. And he gave me a 125 gallon tank with T5 lighting. It's 125 long. A Berlin sump. A Red Sea skimmer. And um, an overflow box. Which is on my 55 right now, which leads down into my refugium. The Berlin sump, I'm gonna convert to a refugium too, I think, but it's just a quick update. Um, me and my boss have my hood made, but now I have to cut, cut the back so it can fit this, all this, um, overflow box back there, um, gave me a magnet too, and he gave me like $500 worth of planted tank material that I'm probably going to sell, but, like, it's got like, um, CO2 doser, auto top off, I can use that on here, um, and stuff like that. And he gave me a power compact light switch. I might put it with a refugium, so. Or I might start a small nano. Um, but here's the refugium. It's just got a standard fluorescent bulb. Overflow box comes down. Two bleeding into here. With Chado. Carbon over here. And a Berlin pump. It's 800 liters per hour. I don't know how many gallons that is. My heater's back there too. But I don't know how many gallons per hour that is. Got some live rock. Again, carbon. I might fill it up more. But yeah, it's just. Refugium is basically an algae filter. Um, put in your sump or hang on back filter with a 24 hour light on it and it sucks out all the nitrates and nitrites out of your water and it helps cut back on nuisance algaes and all that. Helps your copepod and amphipod levels stay up. But it's basically got it all. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do a video on my Red Sea Skimmer versus the Sea Clone 100. They're both good skimmers, but I'm going to have the Red Sea break in and then. And we'll compare them side to side for a week and see which one collects the most skim mate. It's gonna be a sick video. Um, and my hood's built again. Just wiring it and cutting the hole for the overflow box. And then it's gonna be on my tank. So that would be cool. But there's the mess. Got like 20 feet of airline tubing, carbon, got stress coat, got timers everywhere. <laughs> we'll organize it tomorrow. Up there, I got my moonlight LED. I'm about to get two more of those. Um, but yeah, that's the update. I might post a video of the hood without the lights in it at the same time as this, but don't hold me for my word. Um, yeah, this is Finger 11, yeah. I'm out.